Welcome. If you have many articles on your Wagtail site, then you might want to order them in themes. And that's exactly what we're going to do in this tutorial. First, we're going to create a theme model by using a Wagtail snippet. Uh, this can be found in the Wagtail docs. And the snippet model is actually quite simple. So let's head over to our models.py and put in the snippet model. Let's put it somewhere here. It's a theme which has a name and a panel which allows you to input that name and a string representation. So that's very simple. We have to register that snippet and the function register snippet, we have to import that one. Now we can we create a relationship between our article pages and the snippet, the themes. So let's create a parameter themes, which has a parental many to many field. This is something that can be found in the Wagtail docs as well. Here it is, it's described and it's actually very similar to a Django many to many field. But because we use pages, we need to have a parent-child relationship with these. We need to have a field panel, which is associated with that. And that's going to be a checkbox field panel. Now we see that we have to import forms and we have to import this parental many-to-many -many field. So let's do that. Now we'd like to create a theme page model, which allows us to put all the articles of that specific team on that theme page. So there we go. This is the theme page model, um, at least the first part of it. It is, has a foreign key relationship to a theme. Then it has an intro, an image, and a caption, which is not very, very uh, special. We use a foreign key relationship because we have multiple languages. So there might be multiple um, theme pages related to one theme. If you have only one language, then you could make this into a one-to-one one -one field if you want. Now we want to know which article pages are associated with this theme page. And we do that by introducing a method called article pages, which looks for the theme which is associated with this theme page and then finds the article pages that are associated with that theme by using this article pages relationship that we just uh, established. And then um, we filter for the language being the same as the language of this theme page. Now, the field language is part of the translatable page. You can look that up in the specification of the translatable page model. Um, so here we find all those article pages with the same language as the theme page. And then we order them by anti-chronological order. Now add the content panels. That's a snippet chooser panel, which is new to choose the theme that we want to have for this theme page. And then the field panel, an image chooser panel, and another field panel for the caption. So let's add this snippet chooser panel. And then our model for a theme page is complete. Now we want to have a template for this theme page. So let's create that in our templates. It's going to be called, as usual, there we go, uh, theme page.html. And the great thing is that basically what this theme page is doing is just displaying all the articles that are associated with this theme. And because we use the method article pages, which is exactly the same as the method that article index page is using. Let's look that up. Here we are, article index page. And this has a method article pages as well. It does something slightly different, but it's the same name. So that means that for our new template, theme page.html, we can just copy the, the code, which is in article index page. And that's what we're going to do here. Now we also want to have a page which lists all the themes. Not only a theme page which lists all the articles, but also an overview page of all the themes. So let's create that as well in our models.py. And I think we should put it somewhere here. There we are, a theme index page. It's pretty simple. It has an introduction. It specifies that the only pages which we allow as subpages 
are theme pages. And then there's a content panel which does the introduction. We will make a template for this as well. And this is very much the same as for article index page. I'll just copy it in and I'll show you. Theme index page. And if we look at article index page, let's do that. Then you can see that in article index page, we have a loop which loops over part page dot article pages, over all the article pages. And the structure of theme index page is exactly the same. The only thing is that we loop over the children of the, of the page, of the theme index page, which are the theme pages. And for the rest, we use a slightly different styling. We use a rounded circle, which is a standard um, bootstrap class um, and uh, it will display the themes in a round format whilst the articles have been displayed in a rectangular format. For the rest we use all the same things that we have used in a previous tutorial with respect to article index page which means that we are going to have an image with an overlay that uh, changes the color once we move our mouse over it. Now with a template like this possibly we could have done uh, we could have integrated these templates into one and used the generic format, but well, in this way we keep the flexibility to change things later on. We also want to list the themes on our homepage. So let's go to our homepage model, which is here, and let's add a theme section in there, right there. So it consists of three parts, a title, which is nothing special, then an introduction, which is nothing special either, and then we'll have a foreign key link to a translatable page. And this is going to be our theme index page, which lists all the themes. Now going to our template, our homepage template, let's put in this theme section right here. So first thing is that we if we have a theme page section, then what we'll do is we'll put the title there and put the introduction. So nothing special there um, yet. And then next thing is that we are going to loop over all the children of this theme section page. So if we take the theme index page, that will have a number of children, which are the themes, and then we're going to loop over them. And then we're going to use I would say the familiar construction with an image which has an overlay that changes color as soon as we move our mouse over it. So uh, again we use a similar code to do this and we also use a rounded circle format from Bootstrap. If we click on one of the images then it will take us to the URL of that image. We'll put some text on the rounded circle which is going to be the text, the title of the page and again the, um, the introduction, the first 15 words of the introduction. I see what we can do here as well, as we might have seen in a previous tutorial, we put this safe filter here to make sure that if there are any quotes, for example, that they are not escaped. Something else I noticed was that here we have a class intro and a class intro, which is not correct, obviously. We should have a class page title and page intro here. Now to make our homepage a little bit more lively, we will put in a carousel, which is a standard bootstrap um, format as well. So here it is, and we'll put it on the top. What it um, basically does, it rotates the images of uh, a number of images uh, on your page. And we'll use the theme page images to do that. So here is the code for the carousel. Um, basically, it's exactly what it is here. Uh, and what we're going to do is we are going to loop over the children of the theme section here. And you can see that for every item in this theme section, we are going to create a carousel item with an image. And if you click on that image, then we are going to be taken to the URL of that item of that carousel, which is going to be the theme page. And then there will be a text with the, with the item as well, which we can click on. Now we're going to add some options to this carousel. First of all, there will be indicators, which are the um, things, um, let me see, where are they? Indicators, 
you can see there are these things here that you can uh, add so that you know exactly what um, the slide number is where you're on. And the last thing is that we are going to have the previous and next arrows, which are these things that you can see here on the top. I see that we haven't translated these yet, so let's do that. Trans Trans previous and again here trans next. One little detail which we also like to have is if we have an article page, then what we would like to do is to have little badges with the theme names on that article page. So let's go over to article page here and um, here's the title and so below this we would like to have little badges with the themes but then we run into a small problem because we know which themes belong to a given article page but the problem is that from these themes we can not get to the theme pages because there are several theme pages in several languages associated with one theme so We'll have to do something different. Let's go to models and let's go to the article page. Model, there it is. And what we're going to do is we're going to add something here, which is a method theme pages. And what it does, it takes all the theme pages and it filters them with the theme being in the themes associated with that article page. And then we're going to select the language as well. So we want only theme pages that are in the same language as that article thing, article page. And this is actually what is doing the job. Now that said, we can go to article page and introduce the piece of code which will display these badges. So if we have any themes associated with this page, then we are going to loop over the theme pages that are part of this page. And this is the method that we just introduced and we have a link to this URL of this theme page with the name of the theme associated with it. Now models and themes are done so let's try all of this out. Go to our directory, activate the virtual environment and then migrate our database. And run our server. Okay, let's head over to our page. Reload this. We have um, the basics of our site here. Let's go into admin. And let's create some themes. Now you can see that we here have a menu entry which is called snippets and this is the one that we have to use. This is the one that Wagtail uses to make this and we have one model here, themes, so it knows that we have our model themes. Let's go in there and we haven't got them yet so let's add a theme. Well one theme could be custom user model for example and another one could be Let's make two, authentication. Now let's go to the article pages. Uh, there they are. And if everything is all right, then we can choose the themes here. So here they are. Uh, so this one was about customer user model. So we'll select this one and save it, publish it. And the next one is also about custom user model, so we'll select that one as well, publish it. And now we're going to create a new page, which is going to be, let me see, it's going to be on this level because it's going to be the overview of the themes. So add a child page, then here we have our models, and it's going to be a theme index page, overview of themes 
Let's leave the introduction for now. Save it. And let's create a theme page, which is a child of this page. So custom user model, uh, we choose a theme. This is the theme that we're going to choose, custom user model. And introduction, um, introduction on custom user model. We're going to choose an image. Let's upload an image for that. That's okay. Upload it. Great, caption is not necessary and publish this. Second, second theme page, that's going to be about authentication. Choose a theme, which is authentication obviously. And this is a short introduction. And we choose an image. Let's upload a new image. Upload. And that looks fine. Save it. And let's now see if everything worked out the way we wanted it. Homepage. Uh, let's visit this page. And now we see that we have a badge here, custom user model, which belongs to the theme of custom user model. If we click on it, then we get taken to custom user model with two pages on that, which is exactly what we wanted because these are the two that we marked for the, uh, for the theme custom user model. Let's see if we have that on the other as well. Yes, again, here we have the badge that we wanted. And let's go back to our homepage. Now, what we're still missing is the themes on the home page, and that's because we didn't put the theme section in. So let's head back to our admin again, go to our home page. Here it is, and see if we can. This is the article section, and we see that there is no theme section. So something went wrong. Let's see in our models what we did here. Um, here is the home page and there we have the theme section but we did not define any content panels for the theme for the theme section so we have to insert that here there it is multi field panel exactly the same structure as for articles but then theme section title intro theme section and that's it now probably we don't have to migrate our database let's check Okay, it's reloading. And let's see how it looks like. Yes, there we are. We have our theme section. Let's put overview of themes here. Introduction, let's leave that out. And now we choose a page, which obviously has to be the theme index page. Overview of themes. There we go. And let's publish this. Now, exciting moment, let's go back to our home page. Yeah, this is working. So now we have the themes on our home page, custom user model and authentication. And then we have some articles, these were always there. And then we also have our carousel here, which can bring us the pages of the, which shows us the pictures of the, themes that we chose. So if we click on the custom user, then we get to the page that we already had. So if we click on authentication, then you see that it's still empty because we haven't defined any articles for that yet. Now you can see that it's not perfect yet because there is this little square rect rectangle around this, which we still have to take care of. We can do that with styling, but that's pretty simple. So I'll do that offline. And by the way, what I'll also do is do a little bit of styling on these um, on these words. I'll probably make it a navy color so that we have a little bit of more color, um, consistent color on our homepage. If you're curious about that and just look at the next video, I'll probably have it done then. We're done for now. Thank you very much. See you next time.